world away from us. All right, folks, lick number three. Once again on Crossroads of Love, but this time at 454, Jimmy plays this, ninth position. But he's sliding up to the 11th with the third finger. He goes. <laughs> So what's this? Uh, like I said, he's sliding up on the D string all the way up to the 11th. Okay, third finger to the root. Then two flat sevens back to the root. And it's like that swing feel. One, two, three, one, two, three. Do it. That's the feel. It's like a relaxed, right? He's, he's just swaying. Then he sets, he plays this, minor third, root, minor third. Right? That is setting up our lick number three. All of a sudden, bam! Right? Here comes the right cross. <laughs> Okay, just when you thought this was going to be nice and relaxed, he hits you with that. Now, again, lick number three, fourth bent to the fifth. Then you release, and then you pull off to the minor third. One pick of the right hand. And then you come up to the root with the, the, the you pull, um, pick up on the root, and then you pick down, right? So it's a pick down, you get the three notes out, and then root, root, up, down. <laughs> okay. Whatever, right? I'm just thinking of this stuff now, toying around with it. But anyway, uh, you know, with anything, one thing I want to mention, because I'm stumbling a bit, what you got to do when you're practicing any of these things, you might have a little, your fingers are, are stumbling, you got to slow it down. It's a, a good advice I read once was if you try to rush it and you want it, yeah, everybody wants to play it fast. I know it sounds cool fast. But if you're playing it and you're kind of, you know, you're, you're stumbling, it's a little sloppy, your, your playing will never get better if you just keep doing it, trying that. Sometimes what it is is you got to slow down and the brain gets to really get a, the fingertips get a feel, the muscles start to feel how it's supposed to be. And then, then you slowly speed it up gradually, day by day maybe, you know. And within a week or two, you're, you're playing it so quick. And you wonder how the heck, you know, other people will be watching you wondering how the heck do you get it like that. Slow is the key, folks. You do it slow without mistakes. Down the road, your quick playing will, won't have any mistakes, you see. That's the idea. And it's tricky because sometimes when you do these things... Right? It, it, it's much harder slow because, I mean, you don't have the momentum. It's very hard to keep that note ringing. But when you can get it slow, your playing at quicker speeds is going to be so much cleaner and sound better. It's going to be so much... I, it's easy to say these things. I, I admit, I got to do it myself. But that's good advice I heard long ago, and it has helped me. If I have trouble doing something, if it's the right hand picking, you do something, you do it slow, 
and you start to realize what you got to do. And sometimes you get results quick because it's just a realization of what you're actually, the mechanics of what you have to do. And you get the feel of it then and your brain understands it because you did it slow. All right, anyway, let's move on. Uh, we, we continue with this lick. It goes... Then you go minor third, root, pull off to the flat seven, upstroke on the A string where you're hitting the fifth. Then you're going downstroke, flat seven, hammer to the root. We've seen this move before where we go like this. Right? We, we hammer on, flat seven to root, and then we pick it. Up, pull off, up, down, and then down. But in this phrase that Jimmy plays in Crossroads of Love at 454, he doesn't hit the root twice. He doesn't go. He doesn't he doesn't end it there. He ends it on the minor third. Right, so it doesn't really resolve. See the difference? That's how we've been playing it. Here he plays it. And then he resolves it actually like this. Because that is the fifth, and it feels resolved because we're on this. The five chord. It's a turnaround, folks. Okay, so what's nice about that move, he's coming down, right, and then he's going up. Then he goes back down, but it's, it's, uh, uh, it's against the five chord, which gives you the resolve, and then you know you're, it's the turn, so now you're coming back to the one starting all over again so again the whole thing it goes see he hits the root twice the, he hits the fifth twice which is the root of the five chord okay this is why it feels resolved okay but so he goes oh after hits the root that he hits the fifth twice I just said it again okay he hits the fifth twice there on the five chord could play the chord there it's pretty right you go go here second one you hit the chord yeah that's a good one it's you see how they're coming together though folks all the moves are very similar now what's funny is I was just thinking in the last example, we ended like this. Right? We did, uh... I was hearing that in my head, too, when I was doing this example. Like, if you, if you blended the two... Because the last one, if you remember, ends like this. He goes, after this move... There... Right, he does hit it twice on the on the other example. Right, remember that? He starts the next chorus where he's solo and he starts with that. So he goes, he goes. Wait. So you could blend them together in a way and try it like this. You go. <laughs> I 
Let me do it again. You know, it's funny. It's uh, maybe uh, you're forcing it, but you gotta ex you gotta experiment. You know, you take some of these ideas that are similar. You try to Frankenstein it. You know, you try to get a piece of this one and blend it with that one. This is your ex you, you know you you're playing around with these things. Sometimes it won't work. Sometimes it'll feel forced, but sometimes it, it you come up with something. You surprise yourself. You say, "Wow." And that will trigger something in your head, and you'll you'll actually feel and hear it, and you'll go, oh, wait, wait, boom, and then you got a nice idea that actually works. But you gotta fiddle around. All right, so we'll move on. We'll move on. We got a few more. <laughs> 